welcome to our tech talk so dilina so many iphone rumors still going around yeah and a very exciting week uh, at the time of the recording the event is already over but yeah we are recording on uh, monday so uh, we'll see how it goes next week right yeah so we are airing on wednesday yeah uh so there has been uh, so let's go back to something that has happened during the past uh, few weeks uh, mm-hmm. which is when iphone 7 came out they removed the headphone jack right yeah. so their reason behind it was that uh, it was difficult to put a 3.5 mm jack inside the iphone uh, the space is not enough and that thickness of the 3.5 mm is limiting the thickness of the phone right yeah yeah uh well some random person proved apple wrong <laughs> uh, so the story behind it is there was uh, one guy who's actually in hong kong mm-hmm. so he he got famous because he built himself an iphone in hong kong using parts right yeah so now don't get go into details where he is not going to get a processor put soft time right so yeah, what he did yeah. was he bought a casing he bought the motherboard internal thing. motherboard internal batteries and he assembled an iphone by himself and it worked right so yeah. the guy guys are in well he's a electronic engineer so he knows a little bit yeah so the next stage he wants to do was uh, put an uh, 3.5 mm not even a 2.5 thing i was surprised there right <laughs> so i mean so he want he just the regular the, regular yeah, audio three, jack yeah audio jack which is the 3.5 mm version he somehow got a headphone jack right where the iphone 6s jack is mm-hmm. little bit further yeah. on the bottom yeah uh inside the phone and he got it to work so yeah. when we say he got it to work it actually works as a regular headphone set. so mm-hmm. let's say you are playing something on the speaker you plug the headphone in it stops and goes back to the headphone yeah uh so it's it's like having a headphone jack so that proves that apple was actually not telling the truth right so yeah. if someone can hack something so he had to actually drill the case yeah uh then modify the case a little so a 3.5 jack would fit in right mm. then he has to uh put up a complete circuitry to support this right yeah. so because he can't just have a yeah. headphone jack because his original plan was he thought that he can get some audio from the motherboard itself and route it through right yeah later on he realized he can't do that yeah. so what he did was he, he was little smart so he used the same um, device that uh, from lightning connect to the headphone mm-hmm. he used the chip inside it yeah and he, he used a uh, uh, lightning to audio converter correct uh, right yeah so he used that but he made it in a way he put another little bit of circuitry in place so the iphone will detect it mm-hmm. so when you plug in the headphone it will detect say in the headphone been plugged in so if it's plug in a charger so at this point uh, how he has done it uh he wasn't pretty sh- uh, he wasn't that clear about whether the when you charge it whether you can use the headphone right yeah yeah that time not sure because i went through the video a couple of times yeah so the thing is calling uh, when you plug in the it's the same uh, lightning to audio connector right Correct. so the charging will stop when you do yeah. that but so, apple do sell a y cable right uh yeah, i'm not sure yeah they have like okay. i've seen this y cable where you can plug into your iphone mm-hmm. you can plug in your headset right. at the same time you can charge it okay so if that works i mean so well yeah. So Apple did it on purpose. They removed it, right? Mm-hmm. And that's uh, pretty much it. So, <laughs> so he, it's just that Apple didn't want it. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, till I was reading about the there's a site called iFixit, right? Mm-hmm. iFixit rate uh, hardware devices. They take them apart. They rate how repairable a device is, right? Yeah. They give a score from one to ten. So and that's a great place where if you want to know about your phone whether it's fixable and all that before you buy yeah you can do even so, laptops even laptops so uh, this time they did the essential phone right mm-hmm. so they want to see how repairable it is they especially they want to see how strong is the phone okay so they did few drop test and all that so remember till you were saying the outer bezel is what titanium yeah and it's not going to get scratched mm-hmm. and it's not going to get damaged so yeah. they prove when it wrong just a regular drop can actually scratch it all right and damage it um and they found that uh, even if you drop it uh, so they f- drop it like from 3 feet 6 feet it survives mm-hmm. the screen doesn't break okay the back doesn't break only the outer just get damaged right mm-hmm. same as the OnePlus one right same thing yeah. has happened yeah. so the screen hasn't gone but rest 
um, and they found out that the back cover which we said it's uh, actually porcelain right ceramic, ceramic back yeah. so that's actually strong mm-hmm. uh, so that that didn't break yeah. the screen didn't break so that basically mean it's quite good mm-hmm. so but in terms of repairability it got a score of 1 <laughs> okay <laughs> that because that uh, screen is so fused into the body okay if you to remove it you're going to damage it okay so you had like yank it from the body yeah so basically you had this, uh, so, so you, everything is like glued everything is glued together it's strong glue it's not mm-hmm. like you can heat it up and remove it okay. even so it's really strong Uh, but what they found out was internally everything was re- replaceable right you can okay. easily replace the battery you can easily replace right. the uh, especially on phones what goes wrong is the usb jack right mm-hmm. so micro usb o type c maybe they were like trying to save time developing anything related to yeah. this repair so everything else is easier to replace apart from the uh, well apart from taking it apart yeah so you can't take it apart <laughs> so anything like uh, if you do it you have to replace the screen which is the yeah. pointless right mm-hmm. so that's yeah. about it so if you are thinking about what they are really worried is the accessory part right so the accessory get plugged into the headphone jack right yeah so i mean even on my one plus the headphone jack is gone mm-hmm. the normal so if you plug in something it just yeah. basically goes yeah. uh, well it stopped the speaker stop working a lot of things happen so what they say is now if this breaks mm-hmm. then because if you start using these accessories now there's no, not many accessories out there but once they start coming out it's not very durable is it? it's not it, i mean obviously these things are not durable right yeah. jacks we know that so that's the only thing but apart from that uh, they say it's a great phone mm. uh, so about the iphone calling uh, this is the year of leaks right everything yeah. is getting leaked before the launch so uh for uh this event i think pr- everything is pretty much revealed right now so uh, it's confirmed that the 7s models are going to call uh, yeah. iphone 8 and iphone 8s plus uh the doubt is where the uh, the other model is called so uh so the what they're saying is 3 is coming out yeah right? so uh, what people have found out is it's called iphone x yeah But the thing is calling a uh, what anniversary is this this is the 10th this is the 10th yeah, okay so it's going to be exact yes. yeah but uh, calling the thing is uh, they have given up on naming things that way right um, yeah. i uh, so if you take uh, mac os it's just mac os now yeah so like that uh, just like it prince. might be just iphone yeah just like how they name prince it's just a symbol yeah <laughs> So we had to take a small break till na uh, so after this we'll see. Welcome back. So before the break you're talking about the new iPhone. Yeah, the thing is calling uh, yeah. Uh, so iOS will uh, it be the just the iPhone? Yeah, I iOS 11 is the OS what right. they have right now. So uh, they have mistakenly released the final version of iOS 11 uh, like uh, days back. So uh, yeah. the thing is, is a mistake. Yeah. yeah. So it had lot of clues about the new iPhone as well. Yeah. So the icon and the leak where you have the cut out in the top yeah so that icon is confirmed now so it so they basically it's going to be like the essential phone there's going to be a cut out yeah and a bigger so for one. the speaker yeah for the entire speaker they'll have a cut out and yeah. then and we'll also there were some uh, animations also so when you are charging the phone it uh, hides the signal bus and that area a bit and shows the charging yeah. sign with toggling between that so that kind of things confirms that it's going to be a top cut out so that they so are same thing right basically a entire uh, the face of the screen uh, phone will be a screen yeah so it, will it be edge to edge or will there be a bezel that uh, we don't that's know. a small like board a uh, black board uh. so it's not like a samsung galaxy phone where you have a, like the edge phone mm-hmm. it's it's there will be a small bezel but it's going to be the full screen yeah so uh, there were some leaks about a whitish broad phone right that's right. confirmed not true because uh, in every color it's going to be a 
blackbird right so that's i think it looks looks great i mean from it's not the come from my phone yeah. but like but at the time this is go, going to get tired people will actually you know? yeah. <laughs> uh, we might be wrong by the way so how much will it cost that's the question right i think it's about 1000 yeah the i think the lowest one is at least 999 so 1000 yeah. so here it will be around 160000 yeah that's a tough one right paying 160000 for four yeah and it's going to last only a year right yes mm. sadly we don't have any like plans in us you get the upgrade plan where you play a set amount but again, of money it's only two year cycle right yeah. it's not like the next day you get it yeah. uh, but it's far better than where here right mm. like, unless you put it on your credit card but still yeah. you had to pay but for, for iphone they have a different plan where you get the newest iphone all right okay so that's why yeah so since you're talking about the iphone and apple the macbooks and all that uh, xiaomi is again trying with the new so xiaomi is one of those chinese brands that actually build nice looking items yeah. right so their power banks is looking great and very sleek very sleek and they did phones and now now till now and the build quality is also pretty not good bad. Right? yeah they keep it quite well mm-hmm. so they use good parts yeah. it's not like when you say china you chinese the yeah. kind of feeling eh? because that obviously the iphone is chinese right yeah. so that's that don't even see you as right mm-hmm. so it's this uh design designed in california designed in california built in china and delivered from yeah, china right delivered from china even if you are in united state if you order an iphone pre ordered it mm-hmm. get shipped directly from china yeah so so for the people who are really worried about the way it's made in it doesn't really make matter right so that's yeah. the question that i always ask by mm-hmm. people i'm buying a, especially in samsung phones right yeah. i'm buying the vietnamese version i'm buying the chinese version they have an indian version as well it doesn't really matter where yeah. where it's made of uh, well the company makes sure the quality is there right if the company makes sure the yeah. quality so there are certain companies who don't really care right but um, samsung they they might i mean they, they say reputation all, right yeah. and so it's it's about how how well you manage it how well you design it right so yeah. as long as your qa team is there mm-hmm. as long as you follow those standards and procedures it's fine right yeah so Xiaomi came up with a laptop uh, well Xiaomi notebook here yeah, right mm-hmm. that some time ago okay uh, they made only limited quantity right. only sold in china no mm-hmm. one has got a hold of it and yeah. uh, that's about it now they are doing the mi notebook pro so again it's a 15.6 inch uh, full hd okay uh, so it's not like a macbook right macbook will be higher resolution retina display but this is just a standard hd screen i7 processor up to 16 gb of ram up to 1 terabyte of ssd and nvidia geforce mx150 graphics right so you'll get a uh, touchpad the fingerprint reader uh, two usb c port two regular usb ports mm-hmm. that's a good one yeah so now the problem is either you get usb c or you get regular usb right if yeah. you buy a mac that's macbook or a macbook air or a pro you only get usb c now mm-hmm. which is tough because you don't get usb c device yeah. i mean we understand that transition is needed and it should be there but uh, as a person who has you know usb dongles and all that who who you want to transfer your thing mm. if you buy a new as mac you don't get a usb port right yeah you get a usb port but it's not a regular type a connector it's mm. a usb c type connector yeah and also when when you're buying a laptop uh, there are a few versions of usb 3 as well right yeah. 3 and 3.1 yeah. 3.1 has some cool features as well yeah. high power and also much, much there faster. are some ports where you can plug in displays as well so yeah. you have to check before you buy that as yeah. well so the mi notebook pro will again start around 980 dollars um but they are not sure whether this will again come to the international market or not whether yeah. it will be there on china so if you are planning to buy one but i've seen the macbook uh, well the mi notebook here yeah, looks nice but the screen quality is not like an apple right mm-hmm. so when you look at apple uh, display especially the uh, retina displays it looks actually nice yeah the color the contrast the thing and- with like uh- thousand to sorry thousand dollars to two thousand dollar laptops is calling a lot of this laptops comes with a weak display i mean yeah. you can't compare it with mac or macbook so any other displays because you always have to like run it in full brightness otherwise it looks very dull 
So I think that's where they're cutting that yeah. corner, right? So the, because they had to make it cheaper. Yeah. Uh, so they have to compare with the specs. Yeah. But display people don't really worry too much, right? Yeah. I mean, if you work outside a lot, it, it sucks, matters. right? Yeah. yeah it, it matters. Um, and then there's another. So this is the age of AI, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be in the AI. Everyone wants to do AI. Yeah. Everyone is scared of AI. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Deere is like a, one of those companies being there forever, right? Mm-hmm. They make uh, tractors. When I say tractors, these are like huge tractors that you know, like uh, yeah. harvesters and all that. So they they have been on the news as well. So John Deere is one of those companies who never ever give out even a service manual to a third party. Okay. They keep everything tied together, right? That because what they say is the 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 technology behind it is uh, their proprietary technology, mm-hmm. and they don't want it. Same as Apple, right? Okay. But uh, John Deere has bought a AI startup. So the reasoning behind this is they want their tractors to be smart. Okay. So imagine a smart tractor, <laughs> smarter than the farmer. But it's good, I think. I mean, when when people say AI, they always get scared that these things can think for themselves. And yeah. we haven't come to that point as yet, right? Mm-hmm. These are like smart. Dead. So the AI at this point is capable of self-learning and taking decisions. Mm-hmm. It's not like they can do a lot, but yeah. they can do up to. A, I mean, if we are talking about uh, Skynet and what we have right now, yeah. it's like. Uh, well, yeah. so it's like I mean, right even. now we have to like check what they're doing and follow and update that. Yeah. We can't like just leave it alone and do the thing, right? You have so to, like, at least when you understand, it's better to know the beast than, you know, like mm-hmm. the, so the be- best to learn about it, right? Uh, so now the next big thing, right? Uh, HDR. Yeah. So for us to go into HDR, we have to take a small break. Uh, I'll see you after this one. Welcome back. So we're talk, talking about going into HDR, right? I, I, I'm a strong believer in HDR, mm. especially in TVs. Yeah. Uh, so it, but the problem is you don't get content, right? Yeah. Now how we, I mean, I ran a poll uh, on Twitter asking what people would give up, right? Whether will you give up local TV channels or YouTube? Mm-hmm. Guess the result. That's amazing. I was like really surprised. Like I thought like a lot of people, I mean, I don't know whether I'm targeting the right audience, right? Yeah. So, but in terms of um, if you go into the results, it's 89% wants to have YouTube than local TV. Okay. <laughs> Only 11% said they want to have local TV. That says a lot, right? So yeah. people, are mo- it's not like people don't watch local TV channels, mm-hmm. right? It's just that they... Uh, um, consume more content on YouTube than anywhere yeah. else, right? The and volume of content you get from YouTube, you can't match, right? Correct, right? Mm. So now uh, YouTube has 4K, YouTube has 8K, YouTube has all this, right? Yeah. And also the new phones you get, you can record 4K as well, right? Yeah. So the toughest one has been, even though HDR has been there till now, it hasn't been properly, uh, what do you call, rolled out by YouTube, right? Because okay. you don't have devices to watch HDR, because that device need to have the capability and then they have to put the soft tank to those devices. So, and you so, need the bandwidth as well. So they are now uh, releasing HDR, uh, provided that the user can actually control. So it can be th- up to 1080 resolution, 60 frames a second, right? Okay. Which is good, right? Yeah. And then uh, they are rolling out this to uh, Pixel, obviously the Google phone, LG V30, Sony Xperia XZ Premium, uh, uh, also Samsung Galaxy S8 and Note 8. So it's going to be great. Uh, so now the content providers will start because I've seen like it's unlike traditional media. Yeah. Tech adaptation in terms of these things, uh, this digital media in terms of like online media companies adapt it really fast. Yeah. Because for them to deliver it, it's easier with mm-hmm. the technology already exists. You don't there. have to replace any hardware parts so anything from. Yeah, the- and now it's all all about uh, like content creation, right? Amazon yeah. does content creation. Yeah. I mean, they create a lot of content and they put it out, right? 
uh, YouTube does the same, right? YouTube mm. for like Google forces a lot of people to create good content yeah. to YouTube, and they even sometimes they have YouTube, partners. They have partners. They pay them. They do a lot of things, right? uh so there has been stories going around that facebook will spend more than 1 billion dollars on original tv content right and so they they also want in on this yeah so everyone wants to be on the but i think it it did quite well uh, for example netflix mm. and amazon if you take those two together there has been so many good tv series came out of this right yeah so many new ones as well yeah so and they i i mean i i i remember there has been a interview about when top gear jeremy clarkson and all these guys left bbc and join um uh, amazon mm-hmm. when they want to do their uh car show yeah so what they said was they were really amazed that amazon want to do it in 4k hdr <laughs> so that's what i'm saying like bbc yeah. being the one of those like it's it's a premium channel they have the money but they still doing it in hd right yeah and when they went to amazon they want to do it in 4k hdr cutting edge technology because for them to deliver it it's not hard right yeah. if bbc want to do this they had to put up new transmission tower they had to put, you know go through a lot of loopholes to get it going yeah so they finally did it and uh, that's that's a challenge as well right and now i heard the next season is going to be on 8k <laughs> <laughs> So I mean I so going back to the story HDR is amazing so provided that you have the content going into HDR right so there has been good news coming out on HDR people who wants to get into HDR um Sony has come up with a true 4K HDR projector for less than $5000 pretty good pretty good i mean it's che- it's going to be cheaper than buying a good TV right? yeah So where the projectors fail is still in a lot of people spend a lot of money on projectors that they don't spend money on the screen okay so it's again the projector quality will depend on uh, because even like even when, when when we put up a projector we just put it to a wall we will put it to a yeah, cheap correct. screen and that's about it right mm-hmm. but good screen matters when you're using a projector because that projector has the weakest link where the light emitting power on a projector is fairly low right mm-hmm. so that we had to get use that each and every little bit of energy that comes out of that projector and reflect it mm-hmm. that's the whole purpose behind the screen right yeah. so screen has to reflect the energy that put out by the projector every percentile you lose it's affecting the brightness mm-hmm. of the picture right so there are, there are a lot of i mean if you google and if you use the site there are a lot of companies who sell uh, two things right some people sell the screen okay uh so 100 inch screen i've seen on amazon for about a good screen with good reputation is about 3 to 400 dollars mm-hmm. but if you bringing it down there'll be a cost factor but that's a good investment if you are really really want to go into this projector out if you are thinking about you know setting up a home theater and don't buy one of those presentation type <laughs> projector screens right yeah those are not that great i mean it's so better than you know putting it up on a wall mm-hmm. but if you want to go into home theater because that black level the brightness the sharpness matters right yeah uh, or else you can go and buy special paint okay so let's say you have a wall already you don't want to put up a screen there are special paint but they are costly meant for these kind of things uh so uh, projector wise now 5000 dollars is someone can have a really really nice home theater yeah so in sri lanka rupees it will cost about what um less than 800000 rupees yeah. project but then again as you said you have like invest on a screen as well right not only that till so you can have the screen you can have the projector okay but with hdr now you need content to play on this right yeah. so it doesn't matter you have all these features if you don't have the content to it so then you have to invest on a good 4k blu ray player which yeah. hdr on it <laughs> uh let's say that cost about let's say you got about oppo or something that's about 600 dollars right mm-hmm. now you have to buy the content to play on it right yeah. so buying content is more expensive right again here if you're buying a blue ray disc it's about 8000 to 6000 rupees right yeah a good one mm. so that's where youtube netflix all this shine right yeah so for this all you need is a computer a hdmi connection 
and internet connection that works. I mean, now internet has evolved in Sri Lanka to a certain extent. Now you can even get a fiber connection to your home, right? Yeah. I mean, if you can afford the data cost, it's doable, right? And it's still, uh, well. Well, uh, I enjoy the times where we had unlimited data, right? Yeah, <laughs> not data <then>. slower. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, technology is moving forward, uh, ISPs are moving backwards yeah. in terms of allowing to data. To save space on this calling, uh, what iPhone is doing is they have a 60 FPS version and a 24 FPS version. So, yeah. that way they are saving some yeah. space. Yeah, but 60 and 24 is a huge difference. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, obviously you're going to see the difference. So, that's all the time we have for today. So, if you have any question about home theater, HDR, anything, how you can get in touch with us is dropping us an email at arttechtalk at takaselke.com or go to the Art TV Facebook page or the YouTube channel. See you next week.